Final prediction for P Valley. Um, just give me a quick one minute prediction of what you think is going to happen. We've already seen the trailer. I did the review. Uh, we know from the last episode, our homegirl Mercedes got locked up. Everybody's wondering what's happened to her. We've seen Mississippi grow up. We've seen Dre getting more desperate to get this deal done. And we learned that Autumn is as crazy as a leaf in the summertime. What's going to happen, right. Larry? Oh, big up the buzz. Yeah, but free with the set with the channel support. So, so before before Larry gives his opinion, Buzz, you know I got to give you something. Let me see here. What can I give for you that I haven't done in a long time? This is one of my favorite ones because it is really like that right now. I represent the rent is too damn high party. Playing a silly game, it's not going to happen. The rent too damn high movement. The people <laughs> I'm here to represent can't afford to pay their rent. Listen, someone stumbled, child, child stumbled, just growled. Did you hear it? Rent is too damn high. <laughs> but i appreciate that man and if i could change that to the diapers is too damn high that's what i would change it to them diapers is too damn high oh, <laughs> so man. we appreciate that now larry what's going to happen what is going to happen on p valley this episode coming up episode five all right so i think that i think that uh that Mercedes is getting out of jail, of course. She's getting out of jail. She's going to come back. She's going to come back and try and act like she's a boss bitch, but she's going to get checked real quick. She's going to roll up in that spot, and she's going to realize that that the M-I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, hump back, hump back, ah. <laughs> Golly. And, and Anyways, I hate to, I I hate to admit but this. My point is, I hate to admit this, Larry, but you know, I went from Autumn to Mercedes to now I'm on Crooked Letter. I, I'm starting to have a soft spot for the Crooked Letter, man, and I don't See, like I'm it. I'm telling you, I don't. I, don't I think like Mississippi it. is gonna be Clifford's new bottom, bitch. I, I think don't she's like gonna it. become his new bottom. No, I, I gotta keep my loyalty to that boss Mercedes, that shiny non Bentley Mercedes, and I'm starting to have have TV feelings for the Crooked Letter. Crooked Letter, I don't like it. I don't like nope. it. No. Mercedes Mercedes went from a Maybach to a to a to a old to an old SL with a dent. Oh my lord. Have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> now what I want to know is in the trailer we saw her and her mama was in jail. And I asked the people in my review, do they not give you clothes to be warm if you in jail? Because they showed the guard arresting her from the back, and he looked a little too happy behind her arresting her. And they threw her butt in jail. Basically, her stripper clothes. They don't give you nothing to cover up in that cold ass jail cell, Larry. What? No, nah, man. They're in Mississippi. They're in Mississippi, man. I know you've read some of the articles about how horrific the uh, the prison system is in Mississippi. It's just, I mean, it's it's horrible. They might as well throw people in medieval dungeons. Is so mm. bad. Mm. I mean, the medieval dungeons might be better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In all seriousness, I mean, I've seen some. I've seen some shows recently. Where they show like those prisons where they're flooded. They show them where people are literally like there was one dude up there. They showed him where he was like he was on the top bunk and he was basically just hanging on trying to stay up out the water. And they had rats swimming in the water. The place was flooded. People were walking through like like waist deep. People were getting shanked all up in there. Mm. It was horrible. Mississippi has the the worst prison system in the in the country. It's horrific. So I'm not surprised if they left her in there like that. Damn. So when, when she gets out, what's going to happen with her and her mother and the place she was going to use as a gym for the kids? Well, I mean, her mom signed the lease. She took the money, signed the lease. The mom's going to do what the mom's going to do, I think. She's going to start that. She's going to start her, uh, you know, her congregation. And I think, you know, Mercedes is going to try and figure out something with her life, but she's going to realize she doesn't have any money. And she's going to realize that, she doesn't really have any other options right now. Yeah, and she's so good. she's going to have to go back to the club. I don't think she's going to go back this next episode. She might, but I don't think she's going to go back onto the poll this next episode. I think it'll probably be the episode after. I think this episode is going to be about her trying to get that, trying to get that space back from her mom, mm -hmm. probably her trying to figure out what she's going to do now that she's not supposedly not stripping. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to end up realizing she doesn't have any options. She's going to go back to the club, and she's going to realize that she's no longer the bottom bitch, that, that, that Mississippi took her spot.
And Mississippi's well, going to have have had her confidence spiked, and so she's going to be like, "Yeah, I'm not giving this this spot. I got a kid." Mm-hmm. She Mississippi's going to be like, "I got I got a mouth to feed, or multiple mouths to feed." She's like, "She's she's not going to give up that money." Well, here's here's the thing with Mississippi. I agree with what you're saying, but the the dilemma with Mississippi is, I think in the trailer they revealed the baby daddy being the white dude who's been beating her, and he's going to be her Achilles heels from actually taking that final step and being the boss beat in the club. He might be the one mm. pulling her back down, which might have, we might could see conflict between her and Mercedes. And right. then ultimately we're going to see the white baby daddy beating her, pulling her down, which is going to ultimately lead to diamond putting pressure on him into another altercation. So, um, that's going to be terrible because Diamond kills a, a white dude in Mississippi. Man, I mean. He up the creek without a paddle. For I mean, real. he might he might need to ask dude, hey, man, let's go on a trip somewhere and, and, and take him to Dubai or something. And then and push his ass off a cliff. <laughs> something. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, man. you kill a white dude in Mississippi. I mean, yeah. it doesn't even matter if you do it in self-defense. I mean, you're you're in some trouble. I mean, if I was in if I was in Mississippi and killed a white dude, I don't even care if it, I was completely justified. I'm not sticking around to tell my story. I am so far gone out that piece. Yeah, as, as our good folk Tricia C said, everything is worse in Mississippi. Everything. Yeah. So with that being said, we'll move on. But we can't wait for P Valley episode five. Should be a doozy.